Hey, what's up, Guardians? TBL here, back on another wonderful Thursday morning to detail the items in the inventory of the Agent of the Nine. And have you guys noticed? This is going to be our first Thursday video with no overlaying HUD. And oh man, just take a look at this. Oh, Destiny is such a beautiful game, and I'm so happy Bungie added in the no HUD option because it makes making some of these more cinematic videos so much easier. But you guys know how it goes, we will be checking out all of Zer's details today, starting off with where you can find the big man. And this week, you'll find him located in Tower North. It really seems to be his favorite hideout these days. To get there, from the starting point you'll just make a left, follow the winding hallway up and down these stairs, and then once you reach Tower North, Zer will be located opposite of the speaker in front of the big black gate. Alright now big guy, let's see what you've got for us this week. Alright, and at first glance here for the second week of the April Spring Update, Zer actually brought his A game this time around. We've got a pretty good inventory of stuff here that we will of course be covering one by one, starting off with the weapons and armor he's got for sale this week. And oh man, what a list it is. For Titans, Zer is offering the Helm of Inmost Light Exotic Titan Helmet. This thing's rocking a pure intellect stat roll of 78 and grants you the Death from Above and Headstrong ability for your Fist of Panic. Um, excuse me, I mean Fist of Havoc. It's really great for you Striker Titans out there in PvP. And I could definitely recommend it if you haven't gotten one already. Next up for you Hunters, Zer is offering the Lucky Raspberry Exotic Hunter Chess Piece. These things are amazing and they were really your only choice for exotic chess pieces as a Blade Dancer in Year 1. They've got an Intellect Discipline stat split of 67 Intellect 65 Discipline and their special ability allows your Arc Bolt grenades to chain further as well as granting you full grenade energy upon respawn. They're basically a Void Fang Vestments or Armamentarium for you Hunters out there and you should definitely pick it up. Alright, moving on to the Warlock chess piece, we have the Purifier Robes. Oh boy, do I love me the Purifier Robes. These things are rocking a pure intellect stat roll of 101, and while you've got them on, activating the Fireborn ability, that's Radiance from Beyond the Grave, will stun and disorient enemies who are nearby. It'll be like they got hit with a Striker Titan's Flash Grenade, or the special effect from the Hereafter. The effect is definitely cool, but it's limited. My favorite thing about the Purifier Robes, however, is just how they look. I think they are easily the coolest looking Warlock chess piece in the game. So definitely pick these bad boys up if you haven't gotten them already. The ability may not be the best in the game, as you'll probably get more use out of Void Fang or Heart of the Praxic Fire, but the Purifier Robes are definitely okay in my book. Alright, moving on to the weapons there's got for sale, and he is offering the mighty exotic auto rifle, the Monte Carlo. This is a fan favorite for a lot of people. It's a medium impact auto rifle with a very high rate of fire and a very high stability stat. It's fun to shoot and it's definitely got a great ability in the Monte Carlo method, where dealing damage with this weapon reduces your melee cooldown and grants a chance to fully charge your melee ability with each and every kill. This is fantastic in PvE and PvP. If you're on a melee heavy class like Sunsinger, Stormcaller, or Striker, this thing is going to be your best friend because it's basically going to give you infinite melee energy, as long as you're landing shots and getting kills. It's definitely a fun gun and you should pick it up if you haven't gotten it already. Alright, moving on to the Legacy Engram this week, Zer is offering the almost completely worthless Legacy Chess Piece Engram. You can purchase and redeem this at the Cryptarch for a chance at any year one exotic chess piece in the game. Good luck with that. Alright, moving on to the Strange Curios. First up for Sparrow Upgrade Drives, Zer is offering the Plasma Drive as well as the Stealth Drive. Next up, we've got Heavy Ammo Synth, 3 for 1 Strange Coin, 3 of Coins, 5 for 7 Strange Coins, and finally, Glass Needles, which you can get for 3 Strange Coins, 3 Motes of Light, and 1 Exotic Shard. Last thing on Zer's list is of course the Material Exchange, where you can trade in 2 Strange Coins for 1 Mote of Light. And that about does it for Zer's inventory this week. Again, a pretty good stock this time around. Helm of Inmost Light is fantastic for you Strikers out there in PvP. It, it's alright in PvE, but you're really going to be getting a lot of use out of the mixture of Headstrong and Death from Above in PvP. The Lucky Raspberry is a fantastic choice for you Blade Dancers out there. The class is kind of hurting right now in terms of its super, but it's still pretty good and the Lucky Raspberry only makes it better. Being able to chain those Arc Bolts further as well as being able to instantly get those grenades back every time you respawn is definitely great. Seriously, if you're a hunter, pick up the Lucky Raspberry. Then for the Warlocks, the Purifier Robes are really, really pretty and I love them. The special ability of blinding enemies works great when you're surrounded in PvE and it can work 
for a clutch moment or two in Trials of Osiris, but the effect doesn't last long, and with the recent nerfs to Fireborn, where it only lasts about 10 seconds when you pop it from beyond the grave, uh, you're probably going to get more utility out of the Ram or Void Fang vestments. Still, I would pick it up just because of how good it looks. Then of course the Monte Carlo. Get it if you haven't gotten it already. In the future, when we have a Challenge of Elders run where melee kills are required, that thing is going to be your best friend. But alright guys, it's going to be it for this one. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure to let me know what you picked up from the Agent of the Ninth inventory in the comment section below. And don't forget your three of coins. Those are still way too important. But alright, it's going to be it for this week's Thursday video, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I am the Black Link. You guardians, stay frosty.